poppin', I'm a blossom yeah. I don't need a bottom money to my robin' I'm official, on a dolly You can hit a room room in my robin' I'm not sorry, no I'm not sorry Cause they're older, that it gets easier With trying to get them to go someplace It doesn't Friend, when I tell you motherhood is motherhooding, baby, it has me in its grasps, in its paws, in its claws. It's got me in one of them wrestler moves. And you about to lose a little bit of life that you got left in you, Maxwell. I know you got a little life that you left. And you tapping out. You like Jesus. I'm about to tap out, Lord. Even because these kids got you want to choke. Oh. It is pulling me every which way. Like a wig that's caught up in the worst kind of street brawl. And, and, and you losing, friend. You losing. And then, bang, bang, bang. Girl, you losing. We are losing in the fight. But we still got our edges, so that's okay. That's all that matters. And the one thing we gonna do while we endure this thing called motherhood is we gonna make some food. Okay? Because we got a family to feed, family to feed. Girl. So today, upon special request, I am going to be making spaghetti a la meatballs. I need my onions. I need my meat. Father God, you can't do meatballs without the meat. I've shared this recipe before. It's really, really simple, you guys. Don't make food too difficult. I don't add that many ingredients, but you're going to get a couple of things. You're going to get you some, um, some, uh, girl, I, I, I'm, I'm people where you know what you just gotta watch okay watch don't 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 ask me what type of cheese i put in here baby just just watch just kind of just kind of take a screenshot bam there you go you got it okay you got it okay okay all right because actually one of my kids don't even like cheese he don't even know that i put cheese in the meatballs but he been gobbling these meatballs the hell up mm -hmm. talk about mommy i don't like cheese <laughs> i know you don't baby i know you don't <laughs> Okay, so I am going to be using about three to four pounds of ground beef. I use a complete seasoning. And yes, I use a lot of seasoning because I mean, it's three to four pounds of ground beef, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Like, what do you expect? <laughs> I got some parsley, lots of parsley. Onion powder. Got to have some onion powder. Just beef, beef and onion go together, okay? This doesn't have any salt in it, so that's why I go ham. And then the garlic and parsley. Oh, I forgot I did have a combo, a combo pack. This doesn't have any salt in it either. Lots of garlic, lots of parsley, lots of garlic, lots of parsley, pepper. And the way that I measure is I fill my palm with seasonings. And I, I, I think I, that equates to about maybe like a teaspoon, one teaspoon. Really, honestly and truly, I think I have a teaspoon measure thing, my Bob, honestly. Cause I've been doing this for so long that I can kinda, I can kinda take a gander. So this is one teaspoon. So it's just, bam, when well, you've been doing this for a long time, baby, you just know, you know, you know. Then, you need some breadcrumbs. Measurement wise, ugh, gosh, girlfriend, just, girl, just, but we need these things to stick together in the name of Jesus. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I bind up these meatballs and send them to a hot frying pan. Amen. Hallelujah. The meatballs have been anointed. I like to make my meatballs. If you if you've ever been to Cheesecake Factory, then you know they have like really big meatballs. That's what we're going for here. This was a special request. I forgot to say why this was a special 
request because it's my son's 17th birthday. Now, you guys won't be seeing this like on his birthday or probably not even the same week of his birthday. Um, just because like I feel like certain days are like super sacred and I don't tend to share my kids' birthdays anymore. Like when they were little, like six, you know, seven, whatever. Um, yeah, I did, but as they got older, I stopped sharing certain things just because I don't want people, any old willy-nilly person off the street to be like, yeah, I saw you on your 15th birthday and, um, awkward, you know what I'm saying? Like, certain things are, certain things I believe, um, for me are sacred and just because I've been on the internet for a very long time, I know the things that you post on the internet live a long time and for me, I feel like my kids, they're growing up in an age where, like, you know, I don't think anybody's really thinking about long term, like sharing their kids or whatever. Like there aren't any of my baby pictures out there. You know, you know what I'm saying? Or like my awkward teenage phase. It's not out there. So some people might say, oh, you don't show your kids. Somebody was like, oh, we don't see enough of JoJo. I do that for a reason because she's a girl and I don't want y'all seeing my little girl like that. And I really, <laughs> even with my boys, I don't want, I don't want certain, you know what I'm saying? As a mama, you know what I'm saying. Because people are strange out here. Not y'all, but some people's intentions be intentioning the, in the worst way. So I'm private with my kids intentionally. I'm done with the... I'm done with the meatballs. But basically what I'm trying to say is I do what I do. But my kids have always been like, a, like background figures. They've never been like the forefront of my channel because it's Valencia's life not Valencia's kids life um unless they decide to have their own channel which they do but I just feel like kids need to be kids they don't need to be pimped out on the internet for a coin like pimp yourself out please parents before you pimp your kids out but that's just my opinion you know it is what it is whatever anyway um but I'll expound on that because I Bone, I got a bone to pick, but yeah. Um, so I'm private, even with holiday stuff. If you guys notice, I don't post Christmas stuff, holiday stuff. I just don't because I feel like those, those are our family moments. Those go in our scrapbook. Those are things that we remember, not the whole world. Remember. You feel? Okay. Yeah. Well, so you want me to stop? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna stop. Girl, don't nobody want you to That's start. I'm adding my meatballs, y'all. Of course, keep my kids gonna be arguing in the background. If it's one thing they gonna do, they gonna argue in the background with each other. I'm adding my big old meatballs into the pan um, just to sear them, brown them on all sides. And then I'm gonna throw them in this big pot with the sauce and let them cook for an additional like 30 minutes takes to finish cooking the center. But it's gonna get a nice, it's gonna be nice and crispy on the, on the outside, trust me. They're gonna be basically cooked. And then we're gonna add it to the pot. Ooh. These look nice and done. So, oh, I need to put my sauce in the pan. I need to put my sauce in the pan over there so that when I drop them in, they, they have like something to like, you know, get be comforted in. Let's do that. All my meatballs are in the pot over here. I'm gonna add some extra sauce over them, but I need to saute some onions, add lots of basil, honey, and garlic. I've got a garlic paste. Where did the garlic paste go? Where's the paste? And then saute it, and then I'm going to mix it all in there with extra sauce. Speaking of seasoning, we got just a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper to the onion. Flavor goodness in there. And then I'm gonna pour some more sauce on here, let it simmer for about 20 minutes. Um, cook the noodles, bake some bread, Texas toast, and voila, dinner is gonna be done. It's gonna be so delicious. Mm mm, good. Okay, I'm eating my meatballs with a salad. Julian, 
he ate, he's eating four meatballs. I don't know how he's doing it. Max is eating two. I'm gonna get three. Izzy is eating two, but he's eating his like a sandwich. Mm, and I'm then and then Jordan is eating one. I don't know how many Gigi is eating, but yeah. Just one? Yeah, I can only eat two because the meatballs are pretty big. That is not big enough. Now, this is the size of these meatballs, y'all. This is big meatballs. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Izzy. down bad okay i've been down bad michael jackson but i'm not mad joe jackson because god still allowed me to get up out of bed okay and the earth is still spinning in the darkness and depths of the universe around a burning ball of fire sometimes so, somehow we are here okay it, it always amazes me you be thankful for your life but be thankful for the planet earth's life too baby that we ain't been gobbled up by the universe Fran, between these kids, I told y'all, motherhood, motherhood is whooping my ass, okay? Just saying, it is, it is, it is what it is. Between Jordan's after-school activities with violin, because she's going to be a concert violinist, first chair, not second chair. Maximus, aka Dequavion. Y'all don't have a vlog today is because I've been busy momming it and Dequavion, aka Max, he's he runs track now, so I had to go get him after school. Kids, child gotta go home, slam together for dinner. But yes, I'm calling him Dequavion because why are we calling you Dequavion Maximus? Because what? Because he feels like yeah, because he feels like Maximus just isn't, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's African American for him. So he, he wants, he wants to be referred to as the Quavion. He feels like that's very ethnic. <laughs> oh Lord, y'all help me. Leave me alone. Uh-uh, leave me alone. So, I've been like at track meets, two track meets a week. Yes. Go, man. Plus after school practice, which lasts until six o'clock, okay? And throw in, sprinkle in Jordan's after school violin that lasts until like five o'clock. And then, you know, I still have other children. You know, I got a baseball team. My, my oldest, y'all, he just turned 17. Happy birthday, dear Julian. And we are trying to figure out what route he's going to take, which college he's going to go to, or maybe he'll pick up a skill. I don't know. And then there's Izzy, part dinosaur, part boy. In the midst of all of that, I'm still trying to be a real estate agent, which I'm not trying, I am, okay? Managing a property. Did I tell y'all I got a new listing? I got a whole new listing, y'all. I I'm a blossom, yeah. I don't need a bad man to my rob I'm a fish on a dotty You can hit a room, room in my robbery I'm not sorry, no, no, I'm not I've been busy That's why y'all didn't see me last week And hopefully you're seeing me this week, Father God, in the name of Jesus And then, I had an allergic reaction, y'all I got, girl, I got I got Benadryl on deck in my little in my little purse, honey. Oh, this is a car charger, girl. I gotta I got get my life together. Okay, 
to slather on the hives that are breaking out on my body on account of me not being able to take Benadryl orally, okay? Because I have some underlying health issues that don't allow me to take antihistamines, which I wasn't aware of. I gobbled down at least two to three Benadryls yesterday, woke up feeling wassa. So I'm on my way to the doctors so that they can give me at least a clean bill of health, Father God, in the name of Jesus. I am healed. I can't die, Lord. Y'all know that trifling man got a life insurance policy on me. Y'all ain't know that? Baby, I ain't know it either. I'm really trying to figure out how that man got a life insurance policy on me. And not only on me, on his current wife. Sir, you have a life insurance policy on both wives? That's crazy! Y'all, I need somebody to help me figure this out. How does a person get a life insurance policy on you without your knowledge? Unless he did it while we were married and I did not know. But even in that case, I still don't know how much the life insurance policy is for when he took it out on me. <sighs> Too much plotting and planning over here. I told y'all that people want to people be dead, y'all. They want to be dead. Okay, so they can live it up on my death, spend, spending my dead body cash. Lord Jesus. I mean, I wouldn't mind a life insurance policy if the children benefited from it solely because we do have something set up in our parenting uh, plan that I have a life insurance policy for myself and he have a life insurance policy for himself in the event that one of us expires that it won't bring upon a hardship on either parent so that the children are taken care of life will be made easy um in that sense but that's not what his life insurance policy is it's completely separate and i don't know when this man did it i don't know and if we were married when he did it how sneaky not to tell me hey babe um let's get some life insurance policies I don't know. Maybe I watched too much Dateline 2020 growing up, but that sounds like something the murderer would do, don't it? Got a secret life insurance policy behind the spouse's back. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I was just thinking about it today and I'm like flabbergasted. Unless all of that money is going to my children, like I'm not, I'm not okay with that. That's, Y'all, how does that happen? Can somebody educate me down in the comment section? On this, on this special occasion, I want to be educated. How does someone get a life insurance policy on you if you are no longer married to them? Or if you are married to them, how do they do it behind the spouse's back? And how do I, as an ex-spouse or a current spouse, find out about the life insurance policy on my... <sighs> I don't know, friend. This this is this is too too much Scooby doing for me. This is too much Scooby doing for me. <sighs> that's why I got to live, and that's why I can't let that person stress me out because that is the intention of some folks is to stress you the hell out so you can drop dead. Okay, from all the stress, like oh, I don't care if she drops dead, I benefit anyway. Might seem dramatic, but it's making a lot of sense to me now. Don't need your thoughts. I'm stay ten toes down. Look how I rose from the ground. I'm not in these holes, and I can't take it. I'm a blossom. I don't need a bottom man to my robin. I'm a fish on a dotty. You can hit a room, room in my robin. I'm not sorry. No, I'm not sorry. It's official. I'm a 
problems I done made it this far, I'm not sorry